Hello, sweeties. Okay, let me start this. All right. Okay, today I am working in my 28 Things I Love book. If you're not familiar with the 28 Things I Love, it's a challenge for the month of February started by Shannon Caper. I will add her link in the description below. Right now, um, I've been trying to bust hump and get it done. I've been playing with it all weekend, actually. Um, let's see, I might have to zoom you guys in, huh? Let's see. Let's try that there. How's that? I have crap all over my table. Okay. I've got about 30 minutes or so before the, um, the camera battery will need charging again. So, oh, it's kind of damp. So what I'm going to do is run through real quick and, oh my gosh, my table's a mess. Um, I still have to add something coffee related. Oh, let's work on this one. Yes, let's work on this one. That, I've got to do my acrylic pores. I love acrylic pores, you guys know this. So I took some of my skins and I'll stick those in my book. Okay. But right now, I'm working on... Let's start a new page. Let's see... And I'll do a flip through it to what all's in here and why and all of that. Let's see. Um, I think I need this one for him, actually. Oh yeah, I forgot that one. Wow, we're moving right along. I'm getting somewhere. Yay! Oh my gosh, he's cute too. And the mermaids are hilarious. <laughs> Let's try this page here. Okay. What I need to do is figure out how much of this is going to fit in my book. And I'm using um, a book that I made out of a catalog. And I just, you know, folded the pages and taped them. I did not glue them, which I normally do, and so far it's okay, but I don't know. I think it would be better if it was glued. That's just me. Although that weighs so much glue. Okay, so what I want to do is make sure that's going to fit mostly where I need it. Yeah. And I think I can push that up just a hair, because I need to trim these little bits here and stick them in as well. Let's see, I have three, three little ones. All right, so what I'll do is I'll glue this one in first. And I'm bouncing back and forth between glue. Some are just Dollar Tree glue. And some bits are uh, the Elma's Extreme glue stick. Um, depending on what it is I'm trying to get it to do. And I'm not being precious at all because I want this to be done. And I was just going to do a, a quick update flip through where I was at already. But um, I realized that, let's see, today is February 20th. So this video won't go up until uh, the 26th, which is almost the end of the month anyway. So I just need to get this finished. So yeah, okay, now the whole challenge for the 28 things I love is that you cannot put pictures of your spouse, your kids, your family, your dogs and cats and critters and whatever. It's more of a think outside the box, go bigger than that. For things that you absolutely love. And the list that I made originally has strayed somewhat to where my book has gone currently, which I find very, very intriguing.
Now, if I had thought ahead and planned ahead a little bit, maybe I could have got um, more images or something, but I'm trying to use what I have. So I am um, ransacking all the piles and piles and piles of, uh, you know, magazine cutouts and whatever that I already have. Okay. I am also not being precious so far as the cutting and trimming, and I am going back on the corners, uh, or on the, the edges here, and putting packing tape, because the more I leaf through, the more they're starting to shred. So, okay, originally I thought I'd just gesso these pages. Um, just a little bit to knock some of these images to the back and then use it, but thankfully I didn't because I knew I had several full page, full size pages to put in here. Um, so what I'm doing is getting my, my base down. Um, this is for sweets and, and baked goods because uh, I love cakes and stuff. Where are we? Right? Um, so now that that's glued in, let me... Uh, Put a lid on that, and then I'm not being too terribly precious. Actually, what I might do is just shorten that completely. <coughs> Excuse me. I still have residual flu junk, but it's not too bad. Um, much better than last week, that's for sure. I'll stick that somewhere. Okay, and let's see what we can do with this one too. No, oh, that might have to be. I don't know. Hmm. What I sh well, I could stick that in behind that one maybe. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I haven't done the whole process um, on camera. Well, one, because it was the weekend and the house is usually noisy and got people coming and going during the weekend. Um, but two, most of it is me just moving pieces around like this and like heman and hawing and umming and ahhing and yeah, it's like, I don't know. isn't the most exciting to watch I imagine. Also when I really get into the cutting and trimming and whatever or just thinking and staring at it I I forget to like talk to you guys. That's just how it is I guess but yeah the creative process takes over and I just try and focus on what it is I'm trying to do. All right, I'm gonna cut that off completely I hate fussy cutting. Have I mentioned this? Hate it. I like that there, actually. Maybe I'll stick it where it's coming up out of this cake. That'd be fun. Oh yeah, see I can do that there too. Alright, hang on. Let me trim this down the side a little. Okay. <laughs> so how was your weekend? What did everybody do this weekend? I know a lot of people have been watching the Olympics and such. I have not. I used to religiously. Well, faithfully I should say. Um, summer and winter Olympics. If it was on, that's all I watched. I used to watch a lot of tennis too, but I don't anymore. Of course, it's come to my attention that I'm not getting as much done as I'd like to, which means for me that I'm going to have to cut down 
just how much watch time I'm putting in on YouTube. <laughs> Because yeah, there's so many people I try and, and keep up with um, their videos and, and be supportive and all of that. And you guys, I'm not getting near the work I need to do done. Whether it's around the house or actual like art and craft projects, I'm not getting any of that done. Because the stuff I could be doing, planning, writing, all of that type stuff in the evenings... That's what I've been watching YouTube. Well, in the afternoons as well. Yeah, so I'm going to have to really figure out a new schedule. And not watch YouTube until I get some work done. So... And I may have to cut it back to... Catching up on the weekends. So that, that's going to be weird. You know, let's do this. Let's stick that one coming out of the center of that cake there. And that will be coming out of that one, but I want that piece. Let's see. So, there. And my original list here that I wrote and I need to catch it up I think again Part I like about this particular image is um, the the background and all the um, greenery they've used. Um, I used a chunk of it in a different page because um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous space. Right, and then I'm gonna grab this one and stick it on the table here, willy nilly. There we go. Sweets. Sweets and baked goods. Um, so I'll have to paint that out or something probably. Oh my gosh, look how pretty those are. Yum. But yeah, I will do a flip through. See, so we'll let this dry now. Puppies. I love puppies. I have quite a few puppies now. Yes. Yarn. Mm. I'm going to have to find this pattern um, in a knit variety. It's gorgeous though. Okay, this one I still got to finish. Oh. FedEx is next door. All right, while we're waiting on that, let's see. Um, I need tape, so we'll grab some tape here, like so. And drag it across here. There we go. Lovely. Now, I believe that's a repeating one, yeah, and I only need a corner of it. Huh. I don't know why that one's written backwards. Oh, because it's on the window, and then that's the curtains. Okay, I got it. Never mind. Never mind. Shaky hands today, which is not fun. But we'll get over that. That'd be eight. Ok, 
Okay, so that will be ready to go. So that will be my coffee. Let's see. Coffee will have... Okay, I need to... Oh, that one I've got, good. Huh. Sweet, some baked goods I've got. I didn't actually finish my list here, so we'll have to wing it, I guess. But yeah, these these things I need to. Um, oh, that one. I need to dig through. Uh, all my images, so I will have to spend probably an hour or so digging through those because I don't have them organized. I don't have them all cut out of magazines either. I just flip through a bunch at a time, tear them all out, but um, yeah. Okay. Um, that should be all right, yeah? All right, let's flip. Whoa. Fill it all up. Oh, I need to put my list here and make the cover. Huh. Well, yeah, I'm doing way better than I thought I was. Hooray! That one's done, that one's done, that one's done. This one I need to save. That one. You know what? I think we're going to um, do this with a glue stick, which I don't do very often, but considering this is in fact a glue book, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if it has issues later, I can always go back with um, Mod Podge or, I don't know, something. Alright. I'll make sure there's tons of glue on that. I'm going to haphazardly fold it in half. Again, I'm not being precious with this stuff. I just want it in here so I can decorate it. Because napkins. did get wrinkles. But that's okay. I don't mind so much. Why? Because my face is wrinkles. Why would my uh, napkins not get them from time to time? And honestly, I, I usually try uh, if I'm using napkins. Oh my god, that has a whole nother layer. Oh my gosh. That's why it's still very thick. Alright, we're going to let that one dry and then I'll come back and do crap on the rest of it. But first, oh my gosh, that makes way more sense now because it's still very white on the back and it should be like that. All right. Aha. Oh, I see, I see. Mark Bear, I should have seen that. But I didn't. Okay, well now we know, huh? Oh, that's way better. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
part about having fuzzy brain from just not feeling good for a while now. I just I don't even think about stuff. I don't notice it. I don't question it. And then, oh, it's way better. Yes. And I should have because, yeah, that, that's way clearer. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. See if we can push our luck again. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure, why not? Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, that's where the fold was in the middle. to grab mm. yeah that might work I don't know very very gently Just push that down a little I'm not actually dragging the napkin I'd like to say I can't believe I did that, but yeah, I can. Like, <laughs> yes, I can. All right, now the question is, do we want to paint out around the edge or just leave it as is? It's kind of cute with these little love thingies peeking around. Although if we paint it out, well, hmm. No, I'll leave it for the moment. I can always come back and paint and doodle and whatever later. Okay, elephants I need to find. And this page needs to dry. So, and we've got, let's see. Oh, okay. Well, what I might do then is while this, while I recharge the camera battery, because that takes about two hours. I'll use that time to find the rest of these images. I'm pretty sure I have most of them in my big box over the other side of the table there. And what I might do, well it depends, if, um, if I collect them before the camera's done recharging, what I'll do is glue them all in. Um, and then come back and, and I'll go through page by page and we'll doodle and, and make pretty. If not, then I'll come back and we'll just stick in the rest of the stuff and then I'll doodle. And then we'll do a flip through. It's been really fun though, because the, the original list that I made isn't where I started with stuff. Which I find really intriguing. And there's a lot more stuff that really, that I really love and don't pay much attention to or don't think about very often. And I find that weird. Find that weird. Okay. I need more coffee. So I will come back when this one is dry. And we have the rest of the images and the camera's recharged. Yes. I'm really hope well, well, let's do this. Let's do that, maybe. Right? Huh. Actually. Maybe. Mm, no. No, I'll probably paint it out later, but this glue, excess glue around the edge needs to dry anyway. Alright, you guys.
I will come back and check in with you after a bit. Love you, bye. Hello again, sweeties. Okay, so I ended up not coming back yesterday to, do, to work on any of this. And yeah, that's okay. That's a whole, that's a whole other story. Okay, I have been working in it last night, but I didn't get video. I don't know why. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to have to definitely tape some more of these edges because I've trimmed too close to where I folded, so now it's a pocket. Well, kind of. Yep, I did. I put those there. Okay, before we start, can um, I just show you this? Wait, I need to... Uh, I need to protect her address. I got happy mail. Let's come closer. Come closer, my friend. I got happy mail from Meridol at uh, the Mary LTA. She's amazing. I will link her in the description box, her, her YouTube channel. She is absolutely amazing. If you guys are not familiar, go have a look. Poke around at several videos. She's got several types of things and projects and stuff that she does. And she's wonderful. But she sent me happy mail. And her happy mail. Like so. She says, thank you for coming to my live sessions, all the replays. Smiley face at the Mary LTA. How cute is this? Look how cute this is. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to use this washi tape. Friendship, happy, together, story, memories, art felt, which I think was heartfelt to start with, but I love art felt. I need to uh, scavenge that. This is great. I never thought to use scrapbook paper or anything like this. Dang it, why not? Okay. She's got these gorgeous, gorgeous art tiles. Look at these. And she's written on them, let's see, a one and a half inch art tile. Uh, made two, nine of 18, the Mary LTA. Aren't they beautiful? Look! And it's because of Mary I need to um... I need to give these a go. Um, I'm not real good at the little bitty stuff but I love this. This is great. So I'm going to give them a go. Learn how to make some art tiles. And I want to do like different sizes of them. So for now these will go in here where they're protected. Thank you, Merido. I love these. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this made my day. Can you guys see this? She's made little baby scissors with, you know, the, the blades on them are gold. But look, let's see if I can do this very gently. They move. <laughs> How cool is this? You guys know I love moving stuff, right? So what I'm going to do is my very best. I should be able to attach a paper clip to where she's got the um, split pin. And I'm going to put this in Lucy because I need this near me at all times. This is amazing. Amazing. Absolutely lovely. Thank you, Mary Doll. I love you. And look at her. I believe she hand carved this one as well. She does all sorts of, all sorts of amazing stuff, you guys. It's a great stamp, though. Like, oh my gosh. Something else I need to learn how to do. I understand the concept of it. I just haven't done it yet, is the thing. Okay, put that right there. Okay, so where are we on the 28 things I love? I got my big cats page done. Oh yeah, I will explain that one when we do a flip through. This page is done. Oh, this one, I had an image for it. This here. This is my gardening page and I couldn't find the image I really wanted for gardening per se. So what I did, um, and the timing was 
quite fortuitous. Um, we had just gotten in a Totally Tomatoes uh, catalog. Uh, we can order seeds and plants and whatnot because we like to grow tomatoes and super hot chilies. We grow super hot chilies because I eat them and we make, well, the mister makes, I, I make different sauces and jams and jellies and stuff. He makes the most amazing hot sauces. He doesn't eat a lot of them, but I sure do. <laughs> so he makes me lots of hot sauce. And oh my god, there's like super hot hot sauce, not just hot sauce. He also adds it to, um, um, let's see, the last set he did was um, chocolate with um, coffee and ghost pepper in it. Oh my god, I love it. I have to keep it in the freezer so I don't think about it, otherwise I would just eat it all. Okay, so this is the inside. Ah, uh, the super hot chili, obviously. What I'm going to do is just stick it somewhere. But yeah, what I've done is just cut out um, all sorts of tomatoes and stuff from the catalog. And we've got some super hots down here, and here, and here, and here. Actually, most of this side is super hots. These are currently the second hottest peppers um, in the world. These are the... Ah, uh, dang it. The current hottest pepper is Pepper X. And that's its working name right now, but it is has come in officially the hottest pepper in the world. This one is, I believe, ranking at number two, and it's the Carolina Reaper. It was the hottest pepper in the world. Um... And then there's several in here, um, Dorset Nagas I haven't tried yet, Trinidad Scorpions, yum, um, these are called Mexican hats, these look very cool, I want to try those, um, they have a habanero orange, yum, and then they've got the, the hot pepper and the chocolates, um, which add a whole different flavor profile. Um, let's see. Oh, and the t of the tomatoes, like these are the ox hearts. When when they're cut open, it looks like the shape of um, a big cavernous cavernous heart. Um, great for stuffing and what what have you. But we like fancy tomatoes. These are the chocolate cherries really yummy, chocolate sprinkles, but if you see the, the coloring and, and growth patterns on them, um, there's some really fancy stuff out there. All right, um, I don't know if I need this whole stem here. I know they have stems. So yeah, eating, uh, growing, let's see, how do I want to do that? Growing tomatoes, that huge tomato gardens, and growing hot peppers. I've used it to uh, symbolize our gardening. Um, we used to do corn and all that kind of stuff, but we haven't done that for a couple of years. Let's see. I don't know how I want that to sit. I think like that. Yeah. Just slap it in there. My goodness. Yeah, I love my super hots. Love them. Oh, and a friend of ours got us, um, his brother um, makes honey. Or he doesn't make honey. He has bees and, and collects and flavors honey. So I've got um, some super hot chili honeys that are, oh my god, they're amazing. Amazing. One of them's crazy, crazy hot, even for me. The other one I can just eat with a spoon, it's fine. It's still spicy, but um, yeah. Okay, so that's my gardening page. Um, okay, paper. 
elephants. I did my elephants last night. And this guy, he wouldn't fit on the page. And I, well, I could cut him out and set him somewhere. But I don't want to cover up any of the stuff that I've currently got. So I'll put him back in my folder. Okay, let me see what else I had pulled out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that could go in gardening as well. Um, I like to grow sunflowers. Typically, the giant sunflower that one will work. I'll stick that in my garden. The um, giant sunflowers. Um, the tallest one I've grown was 19 foot uh, at the bend. So I don't know how tall it actually was. Um, but when they, they grow up and then they, they bend over because they're way heavy, the top of the bend was 19 foot. So it was taller than the house. I've done that several times now. Uh, let's see. Where was that? Oh, it's right here. Duh. Um, I will stick that. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Stick that here because I love sunflowers. I love to grow them. I love to feed the birds in the winter with the sunflower seeds. All that jazz. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Of course, this year they haven't really needed any extra feeding. Um, and I try not to do it all winter, only when the weather's really, really bad. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I love chocolate. Chocolate. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. waiting for the last of this cold and flu crap to be gone. Get to where I feel like it's it's way better and then it just hits me all over again. It's total crap. Although the fever part's gone, that really high delirious fever thing, that part's gone. Now I just get achy. It's um, not the bone shattered, feel like your bones are broken ache. It's not that one. But so that part's better as well. Okay. Um, don't throw that out. I may or may not need that at some point, so I'll chuck it back in my folder of doom. Mmm, yum. That on the back, we should be all right. There we go. Okay. Okay, chocolate is something that I love. And I don't have many images for the other things that I love. And um, 28 things, finding 28 things. It's just not enough. I love lots of things apparently. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this in for camping. Um, Cause I don't really have much else to do. Much else to use for camping. That'll hold that. No, maybe not. Wow, our book got huge. Okay. I'm gonna have to have a music day later. 
later today. Jones in for some tunes. Alrighty. I'm sorry about the incessant sniffing, you guys. So not a whole lot I can do about it because nothing's actually moving out of my face. I think I'll stick that there. Man, I had an image. What did I do with it? Oh, I bet I chucked it. Because I needed the dude, I didn't need the um. I didn't need the um. Marshmallow on a stick, which now I. Do. It's amazing the, the things you really should save, because <laughs> you never know. That's, that's what I've learned from um, the scavenger hunt and the 28 things I love book. You never know, just the slightest bit of an image. And I've started processing stuff um, out of catalogs and whatever, because the most random things are coming to me when I flip through a catalog or a magazine now. Like this, this, where are we? This is a fringed lamp from a Victorian catalog, right? But what I see is possibly a jellyfish. Like, use the top part as a jellyfish. I, I can't see anything for just what it is now. Like nothing. It's crazy. Crazy. Oh, that's it. Alright, let's give that one a minute to dry. Alright, actually what I'll do is give that a couple minutes to dry and go make some more coffee. Or at least drink my coffee. And then I'll come back and catch up taped edges. Well, no, I might wait till the end. Okay, this is all I've got as far as, or at least that I've come across um, in the folders I'd set aside. I love Birds of Prey. How cool is this image? That is absolutely stunning. But yeah, so there's an eagle. And I don't know what kind of eagle that is. I don't know. We have him. And then we've got this vulture here. Look at him. Isn't he majestic? Absolutely stunning. And the way he's sitting there like this, getting sun on his wings, like he's looking over the valley, just lording about it. That's amazing. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what kind of... It's definitely an eagle. I don't think he's a hawk. Looks like an eagle. Headset, beak. Huh. Don't know. But those are my birds of prey, so I'll be using those, because those are the ones I have. Let's see. That'll go... I think I missed a page back here. Yes, I did, because I was going to use it for the elephant. So these will be birds of prey. And then I had also set out... 
two birds of prey. Twenty five. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Okay, I had also started collecting um, all sorts of architecture type things um, from way, way back to a little more current. So I'll have to go back through that. There's some there, and there, and there, and there. Um, There's so many of those I can use though, I don't know which ones I want to use. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't use my big cats. I'm not all of my big cats. Okay. Mm. This is where I start getting in a mess. I have chunks and chunks and just pages and pages and pages. Oh, I see. I, I didn't have enough room. I should have picked a bigger book. Can I not just do that? No. 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 Oh, I just had these. There's a lynx here. And a puma con cola. God, he's beautiful. How stunning is this cat? See this giant cat? Puma con cara. That's great too. That's a milk commercial or a milk advertisement, I guess. But if we take him out, we've got these links with his head in a Big glass dish. Well, I guess we'll save those for another project. Because I've got enough on here, I think. Unless I cut him out there. No, that's okay. Walk away. No one to walk away. Okay. No, it's still damp. It's still damp. All right, so then we'll have birds of prey. We'll have um, seen if I don't use any of these images in this book. <coughs> Excuse me. Good lord. Um, I'll be able to use them in. Um, the abandoned books and it's so weird because I've been trying to as I go through and cut out or, or tear out pages and, and whatever um, I've really been trying to think outside the box and which bits can be used as what and you turn the whole book upside down so your brain sees it differently as, as far as flow and things that can be other things and whatever it wasn't until I got the abandoned books in and have just, and I have sat down several evenings now and just stared at each page. They're so beautiful. Um, but since, oh, excuse me, since going through those again, or since going through the, the Abandoned Places books and then sitting down and harvesting more images, my brain is on fire as far as what I'm pulling out and collecting. And if you cut it down to smaller bits, so much easier. I mean, you don't have to cut it out exactly yet, but cut it as close as you can to that one image. Um, and yeah, it's already doing things in my brain as far as which pages and, and what can go where or be used as what. Okay, I have video to check on and coffee to drink or finish this coffee and make a new coffee. I love coffee. Wow, this is all kinds of backwards to me. Oh, huh, because it's on my left. I don't know.
All right, we're gonna let this dry pretty good because I've stuck several pages together already. Oh, that's a lot of grapes, yum. I miss grapes. All right, and then I need to go back and some of these, um, once we get them all in, and I'm going to use a Sharpie and probably a Posca pen now that I have some. Um, and just, you know, do doodles and, and write things and, and make it a little more finished. Anything that needs a little paint. Um, no, I'm, I'm doing um, grungy, like, so you can see the background and whatever. Because if this was going to be a precious book, each one of these would in fact be cut out, the fussy cut exactly as we needed it. But that's not what I wanted. I want this to be interactive and, oh, yep, yeah, that needs drying too. Gonna walk away and let stuff dry. I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, I have taped some of the edges of the pages because they get so ratty so quick where I've been just snipping through there. I've been... I found more images. I'm so bummed. I should have gone with a way bigger book. Like, way bigger book. Let's see, I have that one of the cat. I found another one of the elephant. Look at this baby elephant napping. How cute. Cute. And this one, the park ranger lady helping the puma con color. So, God, they're so gorgeous. So gorgeous. But I don't have the space for those. I don't. Not without covering up part of what we've got already. And I don't want to do that either. All right, let's see. That should be dry. Well, better. It's better. Okay. Chocolate. Uh, big cats. Yes, yes. Paper. Elephants. Oh. Camping. Camping. I found this in a magazine. I think I will just glue in right there. And these guys here. Yes. I need to bring you guys closer, probably. Sorry. My table is such a riot right now. It stands about yay tall. Not quite a foot tall. Pretty tall, though. Just full of stuff that I've stuck in the corner as soon as I'm done with it, or um, likely to be done with it for the last several projects. Okay. No, 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 no. I will finish this project today. For sure, for sure. All right, let's stick this here and just write campfire. Come on now. There we go. We're not being precious. We're having fun. Oh no! Sorry, dude. Covered your face. Sorry, that's my bad. There we go so good okay and I found another tent um, I did find a hammock but it's more of a glamping hammock more of a backyard pretty thing not an actual hammock hammock so I didn't put it in I didn't cut it out besides which it's it would take up way too much space so so no hammock for this one, I guess, unless we draw one in the background, which we could do, but um, yeah. Okay, so that's my camping. I love camping. I'm very, very picky about who I go camping with though, because I don't like camping with other people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like to go out and listen to nature and just observe and just not deal with people. Oh, my big birds I gotta do. Alright. See, now I gotta wait for this to dry mostly. Alright. Let's do that. While that's drying, we'll figure out how much of this stuff we want. Um, I love architecture 
Oh. That is cool. And it doesn't matter how old the architecture is, it doesn't matter how new it is, the fact that somebody sat down and designed it and then math was all put together and involved as to what will work when. See, look at these. We've got Stonehenge, we've got this castle here that's just amazing. Um, can I grab the other castle? Oh, there's another castle. Just, oh my god, it's amazing. So yeah, obviously I'm not going to be able to use all of these, at least not without some serious thinking. I don't think I need that one, and I can use that, it's got arches, I love arches. I may be able to use that, see and that one I'm pretty sure I need to save for the abandoned places, or the abandoned wrecks even, because that could be a spaceship. Let's try that. Alright, I am including, um, this is a mad decorative ceiling, I'm not sure where, somewhere glamorous, but I am including that as an architecture piece because to me, architecture isn't just the buildings, but the design, I guess design, or, or design theory, because um, this, this had to all be designed before it was done. Um, as far as working together and measurements and, and to fit everything together. So I may use this piece as well, although now that I'm looking every... Oh, the Abandoned Places books seriously have ruined my mind. Everything I look at is like, how can I use that in one of my books? Because <laughs> yeah, that could be an epic planet. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Put that up there. Okay, so I have not a ton of space to play with. And that's actually the inside of a cover. Of course, I can use this one too. I like uh, Peoples of the World, if you will. So even though the Taj Mahal's behind them, um, of course I could just cut out these guys here, use that, oh my gosh, here we go. Just do it, let's play. Let's play. I could have left him in now that I've started, whatever around her. Her clothes are absolutely gorgeous too. Beautiful fabric. All right, I'll save those for my, my people. Yeah, and I've got a giant thing in the Taj Mahal. That's not awesome. Okay. So I have these pieces here. All right, let's think, 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 think. We can overlay some of these. Part we need's actually here. And that one I could cut out the castle. Perhaps. Hmm. It's like making your own puzzle. Somebody just hands you a random pieces though. Alright, tell me that's close enough. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Okay. Now what I did do was break all the rules. When it comes to doing these books, you should always, you know, go front, do some in the back, do some in the middle. Go to the front, go to the back, go to the middle. I have not been doing that, so my spine is all wackadoo and warped again. <sighs> It'll be okay, but yeah, I should know better. Not to mention it helps when you are working in the back if this isn't all fluffy already. Let's see, page 26, 27, 28. How am I almost finished with this? Ah, You know what we might have to do? Uh, 
I have lost my big binder clip thing. I wonder if one of these ones will work. Um, Oh, my brain is all over the place today. I'm trying to catch up, you guys. Being sick has kicked my butt, and like I haven't even had the focus to write. To, well, I started note-taking for some blog post ideas, but I have to deal with that, because a uh, whole domain name renewal thing. Okay, let's see how much space we actually have. That can go there. That could in fact go there perhaps, perhaps, we can cut those out, let's see, if we cut those out, yeah, sure, yeah, cut that in two, put the Taj Mahal over this side a little bit, and then lay this piece here, and then put Stonehenge in the bottom. Oh my gosh, I think it's a win. Let's see if I remember what I just said. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this, cut this, do like... I am not fussy cutting anything, and especially since these are all, um, <sighs> out of focus way background pictures anyway. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna layer those. I like that. All right, let's just cut that flat there, and that will sit. Where are you guys at? Okay. That I will layer there. I know they don't actually belong like that. It's fine. Let's, um... Mm. Let's do that so it'll sit a little taller. Yeah? This I think I like where it is. We're going to cover most of this bottom part anyway. Make sure this is going to be enough space. And again, I want some of this blue sky around it just for contrast. I am not fussy cutting because I refuse. I'm actually trying to hurry today because um, Dee Dee Willingham's, it's Wednesday, so Dee Dee's got a, um, well, she, streams live on, on Ustream, but it'll go up on, um, uh, YouTube anytime now, and that's my jam. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to get better at, um, getting shizzle done, so I can sit and listen and learn. You know what, I don't think that has to be over so far, does it? This one does, we want most of the castle. Okay, so castle, castle, Taj Mahal. I don't recall what the building is next to the Taj Mahal from that side. I used to know. Um, we're going to do that. Actually, I don't know that we need the blue. Oh, I think I am going to keep it, though. All right, and then what I want to do is be brave and just rip it. Oh yeah, I should do. <clears throat> Alright you guys. Stick it kind of where we want it here. Ah, oh, I'm saving my glues. When they run out, um, I'm saving them because I'm going to dig out all the little bits. So that's what my jar here is for. Used glue sticks. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you see this? Do you see these things here? It's a nose with a finger. These were from Valentine's Day. It says, I pick you. Look at that. That is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. 
Okay, we want to make sure we get all in this channel here, which in the bigger books you don't want to do a lot of. Um, it just puts too much stress on the spine. But we separated the um, catalog pages and turned them into signatures, so it should be fine in my book here. All right, let's, uh, let's come down here a minute. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. So then we want that about there, right? Okay, we're gonna wing it. Lovely. And we're just going to roll this one up onto the next page. Okay. And I didn't glue quite far enough down, which is weird. Yes, I'm gluing over the top of this because we're going to stick other stuff to it here in a minute anyway. So why not? Why not indeed? Okay, this is the next one we want to do. So we want to glue over about here. Right? Oh. Okay, castle, castle, um, I don't know if we need all of those, well, no, let's start with the Taj Mahal, and I should be doing that on this paper here, there we go, ah, I probably should have cut out that top, um, bell, the, the roof, um, a little bit at least, but I did not. <clears throat> okay, we want that to go there, there we go, that will fix that bit, doesn't matter about this part here at all. Alright, so then, We can do that just off page, I think, because um, we can trim some of that grass off so it doesn't have to be the whole thing. Okay, that being said, though, do I need or want to trim that some more? Let's see, here. Oh my gosh. You know what? Let's just just do it. Why are we being fussy? I don't know. Alright, just stick it. You've got to stick it. Okay, that's not how that goes, but I'm not saying that out loud. <laughs> um yes. All right, I'm gonna do that right there. Oh, that's not very straight at all, is it? That's all right, it's all right. Just get it down. La 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 la. There we go. We'll trim that one off here in a minute. And if we've done this just so, oh my gosh, yes, yes. All right. Um. Well, no. Let's just do this whole thing. Just do it. Some of it's going to stick off and we'll trim it when it's dry. 
or when it's wet. You might live bravely. Okay. This cannot be the most exciting video ever, I'm pretty sure, and I'm sorry. The more videos I do, the more people want to see the process, and even if it's gluing and cutting things, that seems to be requested an awful lot. All right. So this is my architecture slash structures. Um, I don't know what else you'd call it. Yep, that's going to need some dry time. So I've got a campfire, well, camping, elephant, oh, 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 I have to come back, where are they, here, yes, and do my birds of prey, so we've got birds of prey, okay, I have two left after that, birds of prey, and then peoples, I have my peoples, somewhere I have peoples, Okay, I will have to go back. I had a pile of them. Oh my god, I can use her with the big cat. Because she's a people that takes care of big cats. <laughs> I got this dude. I'm not sure what he's doing, but... He's totally not dressed appropriately for being in all that ice. I've done tennis shoes in snow and ice, and it's shite. Although he's not really dressed for cold weather either. So even if that's salt, though, that's still not appropriate. It's going to cut the crap out of himself. Okay, whatever. Stop it. He apparently knows what he's doing. I could have swore I had galaxy pictures somewhere. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Oh crap, see, there are so many things I want to stick in here and I, I can't do them all. And it's Shannon's fault, Shannon Caper. I'm not cursing you, but shaking fist at you. There's so many things I want to do. Okay. I love peoples of the world. I love ancient art. Those kitties, the stuff we use, we're not going to use for sure. Bears. I love bears. I love lemurs. Look, look at my peoples. No, I gotta do peoples of the world. I, I love these guys. Look, we got Eskimos. And this little guy's adorable. He's got the little birds telling him secrets sitting on his shoulders here. <laughs> these guys are adorable. Just, oh. Yeah. Vikings. I love Vikings and, and Viking history. I may save that for another thing, though. Did I not just have them? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. It's part of the books. I love... I might do a page with the random things that I like. Oh, I've been saving these. Look at that. I was going to use that in my architecture page, but honestly... Um, I have a feeling this is going to be added to the um, God, that's cool. Um, abandoned stuff. It's really cool. I don't know. Uh, bricks texture. That actually looks like cement. Mm. Okay, peoples. I have peoples. There's Jane Goodall right there. Yep, she's got to go on my people. Actually, I have quite a few. I've um, saved that segment from a National Geographic with Jane Goodall. She's going to have her own book or her own chunk of mm. 
Okay. okay. There's some galaxy stuff. Oh man, I had that for architecture too. But I might could use that in the abandoned books. I don't know. Oh, I had this too. I love this type of imagery. Because it's the dog what thinks himself a wolf. I'm going to keep that. Oh, and critters, look, there's a piggy. Piggy. <laughs> Bamboo. No, I think I can use, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I can use that, hang on. Oh. Oh, I could use that in my Zen spaces too. Oh, I love that. Yep, I could handle that for days. Lovely. Set up a hammock under here. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And this is a two-page spread. I kept for the uh, night sky bit. I love nighttime photography when they get that. In, well, it's actually several, however many photographs, but when they put them all together, it looks like the stars are doing this. Actually, I think they do that as well. Um, it's just long exposure, maybe. But yeah, that's that's how it comes up. But the, the stars were moving. Because they were. Or the earth was moving. That's a great tree, though. Let's see. It's in Japan. Matabe Sakura. A flowering, centuries-old cherry tree in Uda, blossoms beneath a starry sky in this long exposure shot over 40 feet tall with a trunk 10 feet around. The tree is named for a samurai warrior who died in the 17th century. Huh. So there you go. But I had saved this for the, um, well for the tree and for the, the starry background. But I don't know if I want to use that as my um, galaxies and stuff. I don't have much in the way of galaxy stuff. Isn't this cool? Absolutely love that. They've got all the pollen. Look. It's a beautiful shot. Oh yeah! Got fire dances. Polynesian fire dances. I love watching these guys. They're freaking amazing. Maybe I'll stick that in here. Yeah, I think I will. What else do I have? Oh, I have bees! I should have sent those to D.B. Willingham. That's what I should have done. Bees. Now, personally, I'm allergic to bees, but I don't mind them. They do awesome stuff. They're absolutely fascinating to study. And I like honey, so, you know. Yeah, I should have sent those to Dee Dee. Oh well, I did not. Well, I sent her some bees. Oh, that's right, okay, I have another project I've got to get done. It uses that imagery. And that imagery. This is another one of those shots with the long exposure. What is that big fish? Apparently I've glued these together. 
Well, that's right, I used the train. The train's laying down, I used the front half. The fallen locomotive. But yeah, the, the way they do the long exposure for the stars, it looks like it's raining down stars. Love that. Well, that dude's having a good time. Yes, indeed. Also loving that. Oh, I don't know what to stick in next. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Peoples, these are some peoples. I have folders full of peoples, but I can't fit them all in. So I may have to go with that. All right, let's see. Ooh, still damp. Still very, very damp. Damp, but I don't think sticky. So we're going to jump back here before I get any further ahead of myself. I need the eye really visible, like over this side. Yep, I do. Like so. Okay, so we'll put our birds of prey in, and I thought I had, because I have millions of images, I thought it was okay to just not worry about the rest of the, oh, I think I'm up to about 150 um, National Geographic's. Which is fine, but I quit doing, I, I quit harvesting the images out of them because the themes repeat an awful lot. So it just felt very much like the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, right? So I, I quit doing it. It's like I'm, I'm going to have pretty much the same imagery to some degree. I do, but as I've used them, that then also means that I've run out of the stuff that I use all the time, which I did not take into account because I'm still new to glue books, honestly. Because I've only been doing glue books the last, what, year or so? That is epic, epic image. <sighs> kind of like the idea of I want to kind of follow, not well, not really follow, but use his skyline with his mountains here. And work that into the feather there, maybe. Yeah. Hey, that should that should work. <sighs> this one, I think I'm just want to tear it. have to paint out some of this I think. All right so what I'll do, let's see, and honestly I like all sorts of birds, I really do. Let's 
some of my loves swear up and down that I go outside and sing and then the birds all come and hang out in the yard and I don't I just go and sit and they come and hang out and they chat and it's all good until the hawk comes and tries to eat the, all the birds that I've been chatting with because he's a douche he's beautiful I shouldn't say he's a douche he's doing his thing Cooper's hawk. I wonder if I just, well, no, let me, um, I don't want a lot, I just really want, like, that grungy thing where it starts collecting on itself. There we go. There we go. That works for me. Alrighty. Um, nice. Love it. Love it. Hashtag 28 things I love. Okay. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, yes. Be aware I haven't stuck these. Normally I glue these pages together and I haven't. They're all pocketed and I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that unless they're supposed to be a pocket. Oh my god, look at that though. Do you see him? That's freaking amazing. Ah, oh, the imagery just get up and smack ya. Alright, we'll let that finish drying and paint. Um, okay, well, that's going. Let's look at what we've actually got to play with here. Um, what I might do is, well, no, I'll trim these up a little bit. There's Jane Goodall. We must have her. I love Jane Goodall. do is um, just do like haphazardy family album type things, you know? This kid's great. Just great. Might actually work as it is, huh? What do we think? The problem with doing this is it looks fantastic here, but if you don't get it set quite as you had it, your brain goes, no, it's wrong. Or at least mine does. Actually, question. Let me hold that there. Okay, we're going to have to squish it down slightly anyway. That should be right. Alright. We're just going to wing it. Oh my god, I made coffee and I never brought any back. 
the heck? And I only just now noticed that. So again, what the heck? Heavy equipment going down the street. That's not normal for our street anyway. All right, we're going to go like so. It's roughly where I started, right? Close enough. Actually, I can trim. Oh, that was a bit too much. Okay, stick him in here. Yeah. Alrighty, stick them. Okay, and then I want him. Well, I re well, that should have gone way more that way. I see. Placement much? really like completely screwing things up here from the way we had them. Okay, I need his little bird though. So I have to make sure his little bird is in here. At least one of them. Nice. Okay. That that's there. Alright, and I have These guys here, yeah, let's do that. going to put Jane here. Yes, I am. With one of her beloved loves there. And this will still fit roughly here, yes. Yes, okay. Well, this turned into a really crazy page, huh? I'm sure. All right. I'm gonna go here to out makeshift fold line. Make sure that actually folds. Now, you guys know I do not offer tutorials. I offer, this is how I do stuff, and you do it however the heck you want to, right? Oh, 
Okay. Let's see. Let's throw in, I don't know. I don't think you need that much of a space for your hedge. Well, no, that one you might need. And I should, off the top of my head, know who that is, and I do not, and I don't really care at the moment. Oh. Okay, this is page 27. Oh, I quite like it that way, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there is so many wet layers, that one's going to take a little while to dry. Oh, I've got a little bit peeking through. of the um, magazine, or the catalogue, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, let's let that dry. See, I didn't even need these guys, huh? Well, I could cut him out, I guess, and stick him like here, but that'll cover her face. And even if I tried to squeeze him in here, that wouldn't work. Okay, we'll keep him for something else. And actually, I could cut her out. She would fit here, and the big cat would fit here mostly. Big kitty. Big kitty. All right, you guys, I'm going to hunt down some coffee. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was my knee. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, oh my Lord. Okay, I'm gonna get this part done quick as I can because the sneezing has begun once again. And oh my goodness, if I hate that part. It makes everything hurt. It's like a full body event. Or exercise or something. I don't know. Something. You know what I mean. Okay. Let's trim up this bit here. Mostly. Okay. And this one here. Oh, I see. I see. Lovely. Oh, it's still damp, but not terrible. Okay, so I then need to uh God, that's amazing. I cannot get enough of that. Alright, I'm going to um put some tape <laughs> down the edge of my papers. Sounded funny, didn't it? Okay. Now the reason I'm doing that is because where I have folded these pages and they're not um, glued, uh, some of the, the glue books that I make like this out of the catalogs, um, I usually uh, fold the page and, and glue it down, and then I put the, the tape, let's see, then I do the, the tape in the, the spine here, or in the center channel. Um, because it's not taped, these pages are looking like this, or because it's not glued, I mean. So all the pages are not as stout as they otherwise would be, and where, oh, that needs... That needs something. Um, where I'm flipping back and forth and back and forth, um, it doesn't have the stability that it would have with um, if those pages were glued. 
so they're starting to fray along the edges. So I'm just putting some tape down so that we can do this and leaf through or thumb through our book as it were. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, yep, the sneezing attack is uh, has kicked something off and I'm not happy about it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we're almost ready. That one's got one. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, oh, that one does not. Hang on, that one does. This one does not because it wasn't ready yet, and that's still a little damp, but I think we'll be okay. All oh, the sun is desperately trying to come out again. Come on, sunshine, you can do it. Not that it's very warm today, but... Oh my god, it's glorious. Hello, sun. Welcome. Welcome back. Okay, this page is done, so we can do that here. Ah. Oh, that was not straight at all. Wow, not even remotely close. So a couple of these are excessively wrinkled or um, well buggered up, I guess. Uh, Especially the ones I did at four in the morning the other day. Like, oh my gosh. Because I couldn't sleep and I was having issues with my tape and I could barely see because my face is all... Felt like it was all swollen up from the eyeballs. Sorry, um. Oh, I get sucked into these stories. Okay, that's not going to be near big enough for what I was hoping to do with it. So, I may... Do it this way. No, that's still well, it's better, it's just not. Um, mm. You know what? I'm just gonna slap it in all kitty wampus, I think, and we'll get the general idea, and it will be fine. It will be sufficient, I believe. up in this channel right here which again we would not do in an actual altered book because it stresses out the spine and well nobody likes a stressed spine let's be honest okay oh stick that in there Okay. <clears throat> I think 
thinking I'll have a couple of videos coming up that uh, are more of the art journal variety and uh, not the real long chatty whatever ones. I find them very tiring um, and they take longer to edit and all of that anyway. But I, uh, I don't know, still not feeling the best. So I think what I'm just going to do is uh, put together just a couple regular videos. Um, and they may or may not have voiceovers or anything. I do have to do an acrylic pour one because I did promise that I would do one of those and explain that step by step again. Um, and I've got a couple small projects that you should be able to see what I'm doing but not need any uh, explanation really because I could always do voiceovers if my voice actually improves any. <clears throat> yeah, that top corner dried pretty quick, huh? You know, I don't think I even want to line that up. I think maybe we'll uh, just slap the next one wherever it goes. Yeah, I think so. Let's try that. Although I do like it lined up because it works in my brain. It works so much better in my brain. I don't know because it's going to be in the channel anyway. So wherever it lands is where it's going to be. Ah. So there's that. Yep, I think I'm just going to add that to the top corner too. Fire everywhere. Okay, I'll let this one dry. I don't know if you guys have seen these uh, fire dances in person, they're absolutely amazing. It's always fascinated me. That and candle dancing, um, which by the way, don't do with real fire until you get the hang of if you have long hair. Just FYI, don't ask me how I know. <laughs> oh, you know what? That might need to go in there, huh? Mm. Well, let's just stick them all together. 
all together now. This challenge really has um, got me wondering if I should just make a giant altered book of just stuff, imagery, and uh, um, pictures that I love. Not necessarily themes, though it could be themes. I could make an entire library full of books, I think, with themes, you know? It is still wet, but I'm going to write on it, and I'm going to write here. Fire dancing. And this one. Right here, I'm going to write... Peoples. All sorts of people. All the lovely people. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we can tell that one's camping. You know what? I might actually almost be done with this. Wouldn't that be something? Huh. Oh, I do need this couple of these pages. I do need to um, renumber. So that's 19. So that would be 20. All right. 21. 22. Maybe not. Ah, bug it up a page somewhere. Because that was supposed to be 28. What did I bug her up? 1, 22, 23, 24. Oh, shit. That one. Okay. So that's 25. That's 26. That's 28. No big. We got it. And if I really want to, I can do two more. I might glue that to that. Just make a sturdier cover. Let me do this while we're still waiting for this last page to dry. Okay, so I'll need to do a cover. And I may just glue that to that actually as well. Because um, the list that I'd made, uh, I hadn't finished. I'd started writing a list of just random things that I love and it just took on a life of its own once I got the book started. Some of those need trimming on. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So we'll do cover here in a bit. Okay. I love these two perfumes. So I've got their um, from a magazine bit in here. That's going to tear off. I need to fix that. But that's the Blooming Bouquet by Miss Dior. 
and Tender Romance by Ralph Lauren. I love painty papers. And these are more of the jelly print kind, but I got these in a Happy Mail. Um, these are from a Secret Santa Swap. Tammy did these, and they're beautiful. And I've got, um, like, each of these is back to back. They're double sided pages, so I tore them down the middle and I, I flipped one. So, whereas this is one side, this is the opposite side of this, this strip, right? So just tore them and flipped this side. Same here, same here, same here. And then, then I just stuck in um, other chunks, one side up or the other side up. But I love painty papers, like I can't even describe how much I love them. I, I just do I love making them. I love playing with them, touching them, making things out of them. I just love them. Okay, this is my Zen Spaces page. I like to create stuff like this, like in the backyard. Um, I need to do a new water wall, actually, once we redo the pond. But fire pits and, and this, this spoke to me. This image here, this house. And it's backed onto a, a golf course, and I would totally do different lighting, but I love the idea of that. And what's, oh, this one, it's another Zen space. This is actually a hotel room somewhere, but oh my God, I could totally hang out here. Totes, totes hang out there. And of course the beach, cause I love the beach. And then like this garden type thing with the little shade stuff and yeah, just seated areas with shade stuff, surrounded by gardens and, and whatnot. Zen spaces. Uh, oh, I haven't finished this one. I am not a big religious person, as far as organized religion goes, and that's fine. I don't really care one way or the other. But I do like, um, and not all of these, I just, this, these are the ones I had to work with as far as images, but I do like um, artistic crosses. I, I prefer more of the, um, like the Celtic crosses, the stone, uh, carved stone, um, any of the wire work, that kind of stuff, decorative crosses. They were just stuck in the ones that I had images of and called good. Now, that doesn't mean I want to be surrounded by them. That would just not work for me. But I do love them. I love to see um, the details that, that go into these. Uh, candles. I love candles. Look at this setup. This is on top of a, a mantle on this huge wall. The paper... Just everything is beautiful in this image. But yeah, they, they've gone with um, LED candles, um, which totally makes sense for the way they've got them all up the stairs and everything. But I liked the image, and yeah, I love candles. So again, I'm using what I've got. Okay, this page is... I don't know what you'd call imagery, I guess. I love layered imagery like this. Um, and I can do it if I sit and play with it long enough on the computer and get the opacities going and layered stuff and whatever, but honestly I get bored. I love it when it's done, but I get bored doing it, so I'm going to have to work on that some more. But there was a whole bunch of these, so I just um, threw them in, in my book here. That's that one. And this, yeah, this is one of the pages that was very badly wrinkled with packing tape. But look at these images. That's just the way these are uh, layered over each other, but you can see everything. That just fascinates me. But yeah, it just, again and again and again, just examples of amazingness. 
railway pass. There's all sorts of cool stuff in these too. Um, and this one was double sided as well, but it's the same same type of art. Just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing artwork. So yeah, I just I love layered imagery, I guess. I don't know what you'd actually call that. Okay, I'm a knitter. I have been since I was eight, and I love yarn. I love it. And yeah, I do need to find a pattern or something I can use in knit instead of crochet, because I'm not real big on crochet. Um, I make one of these open front hooded cardigans, because that is pretty. And it does have the actual hood. And I would put a big button catch in the front here. Yeah, it's gorgeous though. Huh, I don't know. I love chocolate. Different types of chocolate. Usually dark though, the darker the better. And I like it with ginger, I like it with nuts, I like it with chili. Just do. Love this. And these we get, uh, well, they've got them everywhere now, but they used to just have them at the health food store but it's called Choco Love. The reason for that is um, this side looks like um, postage stuff, right? And then inside there's usually a poem or lyrics or something. Um, this one's from Romeo and Juliet. But yeah, I like those a lot. I love puppies, all sorts of puppies, but especially Bulldogs. English Bulldogs are amazing. <laughs> I love them. I do, I love them. Um, I love Victorian era type stuff, so what I did was put the cover of um, the Victorian Trading Company catalog in here. Um, it's, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, there's that. I love garden decor. Um, and this one's a spinner, but it was perfect uh, the day that I come across it. Um, it's a chakra spinner, and it breaks down each of the colors per chakra, which I thought was great. This is awesome. He's a bird nest, or bird house, I guess. But yeah, lots of little cutesy stuff, fairies, and fro I love frogs. I love frogs like crazy bad, love frogs. Love angels and fairies. I love ceramics, pottery, stoneware, whatever you want to call it. Um, with all the gorgeous coloring and glaze work and oh my god I just I love it love it love it love it if I had the room I'd have it everywhere but I don't and even the crockery that's done like that just absolutely gorgeous love it I love to bring the outside indoors what do I mean by that all these big wall art pieces and stuff um, we've got horses painted on there suns um, clocks and stuff made out of uh, windmill type decorations but these are all designed to be inside but it's all outside stuff also I love um, celestial stuff suns moon stars that kind of thing um, so these are great anyway and then these two pieces are very steampunk metalwork horses which I thought was cool so yeah, that's um, they're very different. Yeah, this is beautiful, beautiful artwork. Okay, I love like fractals and kaleidoscope type images. Um, this is from uh, oh, it's a lizard. What are, what are those lizards? Chameleon. Yeah, chameleon. I have glue all over me. 
are so cool though. I should I had another oh wait, maybe I'll put it away. Maybe I put it away finally. No, it looks like I have. I had a bunch of uh, different patterns of these and they were awesome together when they're all laid out together. But yeah, fractals and kaleidoscope type images, whatever you want to call them. Birds of prey. I love birds of prey. I still, this, this shot here is just absolutely amazing. That is incredible. I also love cakes and sweets and goodies. I can't help myself. I really shouldn't, but I do. I do, I do. I need to quit eating those. Coffee. Actually, I don't know if I want to... Um, that we actually needed to add anything to this, but... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, my Lord. <clears throat> I'll be so stoked when I feel better. Okay. I had planned on doodling all throughout the book, but honestly, now that I see it put together, I don't think I need to. Like... For real. Okay, coffee. All sorts of coffee. I love coffee. This is my gardening page. And for the most part anymore, we just grow the um, fancy all sorts of tomatoes and um, peppers. Hot peppers. Because um, we do things with each of those. Uh, one of my favorites being with the tomatoes, I make my grandmother's um, tomato sauce recipe, which my family will in fact fight over. <laughs> but, um, oh, it's so good. That stuff is so good on everything. That and her mustard pickles. Oh my God. Anywho, um, so all sorts of fancy tomatoes and hot peppers. And I usually grow sunflowers, giant sunflowers okay I put this image in here because I just absolutely love this I love porches and wraparound porches and that kind of thing and this spoke to me the, the coloring that they've used for the trim pieces against the uh, siding and the whole bit with this huge porch I just absolutely love it so yeah, I, I love beautiful wraparound porches or verandas. I just do, I just do, I just do. Sit out there with some coffee and yeah, just watch the birds. Mm. Oh, I didn't write anything on here. I probably ought to. Let me do that. Let me write... Acrylic pores. Now some of these are in fact the same pieces like this is the back piece of this one Which I had to laugh. It looked like the um, one of the Easter Island heads <laughs> But I, I trimmed it. This is actually the rough bumpy side that's up after an acrylic pour and this is the smooth side from underneath um, And I, I did that throughout. This is the other half of, of this bottom piece here. That's just an add-on. This this piece is the reverse of this one. Um, this is the smooth bottom, and this is the cracked, textured top. Same with these two pieces. But yeah, these are the skins that are left over from an acrylic pour, and I love them, love them, love them. Love them, love them. This page I've put in here because it's screamed, ironically. It says, I am very sensitive to light and sounds. This mm, 
was put together by uh, Jacob Sanchez, apparently. This is an Autism Speaks advertisement, and I'm so... I am so happy to see this in a major magazine. Because it's time. More people need to understand. More people need to understand those that are different from them, let alone, you know, what the what it is specifically. And while I am not autistic and don't suffer for any of the spectrum disorders myself, I know what it is to be excessively sensitive to light and sound. And it makes the world unbearable. But yeah, I, I'm... I love this ad. I love... And you guys know I hate ads. I Oh my god, I hate ads. But ads for awareness, actual awareness. I love this. I love the artwork that they've put in here as well, that they've put together. This poor little guy. It just... Yeah, this, this speaks to me on so many levels. So I loved it, so I put it in here. Okay, page 22. I love big cats. Which is funny because I'm not a massive fan of small cats, like house cats, not a big fan. And they know it. <laughs> I mean, they're all right, but yeah, I don't... I'm a dog person. But big cats. Oh, big cats delight me. Yes, they do. Absolutely delight me. A picture of a black panther to add to this, but it's on the back of this um, lion who's actually singing. He's got all the martial speakers behind him, and there's a uh, um, microphone right here. But there's a, a picture of a, a house cat sitting off to the side on, on the other page. But, yeah. It's a be brave kind of image, and it's great. But these cats, oh my god, I just can't, can't get enough of them. This is my I Love Paper page. And I've gone with just a bunch of random bits that I had handy. All different sorts of papers. Because I love paper. I'm a mixed media artist and most of what I do is on or because of paper. It just is. And it just, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Love paper. Got tracing paper, which is all noisy and messy maps in here and just sprayed and stained papers, graph papers, um, coffee stained paper. I've got some scrapbook papers, ledger book paper. And that's just what I had on hand. That's only a small amount of the papers I have. I love elephants. I love them. Elephants make wrinkles look good. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And look at this image here. Look how beautiful and perfect this is. I just love it. It just... And this chick's just sitting out on a... sitting out on a porch watching the elephants like oh, I so want to do that yeah I love elephants I can't explain why I just do I always have I think they're absolutely majestic and their family groups oh my god I just I, I can't I can't get enough of them Camping. And I love this image here. And yes, somebody's holding the, the wee child here. This family was actually on um, the Galapagos Islands. They were studying the, the 
wildlife, the, the turtles and tortoises there. But I love this. How cool is that? Yeah, camping. Though I'm very, very picky. Even camping with friends, I'm very picky about which friends I go with because I don't like camping with very many people. Okay, that did not stick down worth a hoot. More glue. Stick. There you go. Yeah, the whole sitting by the campfire and just hanging out. I love it. I do. Okay, and this one is, again, I'm just going to call it architecture, I guess. But yeah, architecture, engineering, um, design. I, I guess you could call it a great many things, but whether it's ancient stuff, old, well these are all old, but, or down to newer stuff, doesn't matter, it fascinates me. And not just the building of or the finis, finished pieces, but what it took to get there from a doodle on a piece of paper throughout the entire planning process, the, the whole the whole bit, like, oh my gosh. And then peoples. All different peoples. Aren't they beautiful? Look at the story in this guy's face. Just... And as a writer, um, I cannot recommend highly enough to make a book full of, of people. Just cut out a random person and build them a backstory. It's character building. It's, I don't know, it's a great way to use your noodle. Even this woman, you can't see her face. Could do a huge character profile for her. Still love Jane Goodall though. I do, I do. Okay. This is still wet and look, see I trimmed way too close. So it's going to need tape. I should probably go see who's at the front. Okay, but yeah, um, I think the next part I will just be doing the um, covers. I don't know if I want to stick stuff in here or just stick these together to make them more stout. I don't know. I did bugger it up, just go by and page by page by page though. That's not how I started. I did, you know, a few, but I didn't go all the way to the back and then come back. So, yeah, see, do you see the spine, how it's all wackadoo? See that? See how it's all? <laughs> I don't know. It's all right for what it's been, but um, I got to think of a cover. How I want to decorate the cover, and this little guy's got glue like up his face, which looks like a giant booger. It's so gross. It's like ew, glue, glue on your face, mocos. But yeah, this. Well, several of these need to dry out now for sure. I might do a contents page. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to stare at that some more. I still have coffee to make. No way, I made coffee. No, maybe I need to make coffee. Get, I don't know. I have to track down coffee. Um, and I'll need to tape these two. Figure out what I'm doing with these two here. And do the covers. And a title. And, yeah. Contents page. Um, which I'll probably do off camera and then just jump in at the end here. But I do want to give a huge shout out to Shannon Caper for doing the 28 Things I Love February Challenge. 
I know it was supposed to be more of a daily thing. You sit down once a day and do whatever, but I find that very difficult when you're to use specific images, you know? Um, so I, instead I've sat down and I've done it um, over the course of a couple days. <laughs> that's how I roll. That's how I roll. But I've loved it. It's been an eye-opening experience and I really am thinking in the future of doing themed books, themed glue books maybe. I don't know. I believe Caged Fish does several. I'm going to have to check out some more of her videos anyway because, oh my god, she's amazing too. Um, aren't they cute? Oh my god, the star knows. You take a wet towel and wipe his face all the time, getting the wrinkles. Oh my god. He looks like the Douglas boys. Does he not look like a Douglas? Huh. Kurt Douglas, Michael Douglas, any of those? No? No? Nobody else sees that? I totally do. I love it. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to call him Douglas just because of that. His name is now... Douglas. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Yes. Time for coffee. And think about the... If I just want to paint the cover or if I want to do a uh, hard cover. Oh, I don't know. Or I could just duct tape the cover as well. Oh. I don't know. I mean, I'll figure it out when I come back. I'll show you what I did. Or tell you about what I did. But this so far is my 28 Things I Love February Challenge by Shannon Caper. Okay? Alright, you guys. I will see you shortly. Love you. Bye. Alright you guys, I have cheated. Okay, I didn't cheat. Um, honestly, I think I burned myself out slightly doing two glue books back to back in such a hurry. Um, I think that's what I've done. But because the... Uh... Oh God, my neighbors, I swear. Because the um, scavenger hunt's finished, um, and I still have to figure out a closure for that book, um, I'm going to keep this one, the uh, 28 Things I Love, simple. So what I've done is painted front and back, the front and back covers, um, and just acrylic paints um, in a couple colors, just blended them together a little bit and made it all uh, grungy looking. Uh, when that was dry, I wrote with Posca pen on the front cover, it's hashtag 28 things I love, and then I've covered it in packing tape so that these edges all make sense now. Um, it's all packing tape. And had I not, um, like some of these pages are covered in packing tape. So had I not had flip out pages, I would have gone back and, and just finished every page with packing tape, I think. See, in some of these I still could, um, but I don't think I'm going to. At the moment, I'm going to consider the 28 Things I Love done until I pull out some yarn. I need to find some yarn, and then I want to go through um, probably there on the yarn page, makes sense. Um, probably there, and here, and not this one, 
and here and um, I'll just tie those in with with yarn just to make sure that they are in fact all held in together oh, I need, I'll need one here as well uh, yep that right there so one two three four Oh, probably that one. Five. So five strands. Five strands of, of yarn down the back spine and I'll just tie them and make them um, all knotted and pretty. And she's done. It's been a great challenge and I, what I want to do next uh, for this type of thing and it'll be a while because I've got a bunch of projects to catch up on first. Um, but when I do the themed books, um, I think what I will do, I'll try and find, I need to find books that are about the same size so I can do them as um, a library set or like you would see an encyclopedia but I don't want any more than five books, that part I know for sure and if I can do it in three that would be great. Um, but I don't know how soon it'll be before I get to those. So I'm going to write that on my big ideas board and um, start collecting pieces toward that. The biggest thing I've got to do first is power pack cards. I've got to do Kylie Koo Studios um, positivity decks and um, start abandoned places books with cutouts and stuff first. So. As far as glue books go, oh, I've got to revisit my regular glue book, my, my big glue book. So as far as starting anything new like this, I won't be doing, um, oh, good Lord, for quite some time, because the abandoned books is going to take me forever. Um, and it's my goal to learn how to do those over the course of this year. Um, so outside of that will be my regular glue book possibly and my um, uh, big blue uh, for my scraps, going down scraps as backgrounds and then doing the art journal pages on top and I've got to get back into my art journal, I miss it. So yeah, I may have to pare down my focus for my channel as to what I'm actually doing on camera even though I do a lot of different stuff. Um, I really need to focus because I want my art to get better and I'm not spending enough time doing that. So we'll see. We'll see. I love this. This was great. Thank you so much, Shannon. I really, really love this. This was an adorable idea. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't do it, um, day by day. Um, but for me, that's, very rarely do I sit down and do anything every single day. Um, very rarely. So I've got it done. I've had a ball. I did get it done in uh, in the month of February. And I love it. And packing tape is not my friend, but I pretty much knew that already. And as far as figuring out the stuff that I love. Some of it I already knew and others, I, I mean, I've, this is just, let's see, this is just one of my crap collector folders. This one's not organized or anything. This stuff's full of stuff that I could use that I love. Just, look, there's rainforests in here, maps, fancy dresses and clothing. Look, there's a Spoonbill. Look at him. Spoonbill. He's magnificent. Oh, this, this was cool. Actually, I think this needs to go on its own thing. But the hidden world of the Great War. Um, yeah, they found all this cave system and stuff that um, a lot of them lived in or, or passed by a lot of the old soldiers and stuff. Look at this, cave systems and, and networks. One of these pages has magnificent carving where everybody 
people carved in the walls as they came through or hold up in there. This one. It's absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. But yeah, this, this needs its own chunk, I think. There should be it's my rainforest steps. Flowers, rocks, all the moss covered logs and foliage. Look at these. Look at these. Stingrays. How cool he is. Look at them. So much of those stingrays are manta rays. Yeah, look. Temples. Absolutely wonderful. Oceans and such. Archeolo archaeological dig sites and the like. There's so much stuff that I absolutely love. Just, it, it, I could stick all these in on their own as a, uh, as a book of imagery. Not sure why I'd cut that out. Apparently I was going to do something with it. Huh. And my hand's about to fold. Look at this shot. Look, this is waterfall, and at the very, very bottom over here, look at that. It's a little Land Rover. You know how much water that is? It's crazy. Crazy. See, more big cats. Actually, that one's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is just one folder. I have so many of these, it's ridiculous. And yeah, I got to get it together. And I started trying to sort them out and whatever, but then I realized a lot of them, my brain categorizes things into possibles. So it's multifunction. It could be used, not just what, oh yeah, not just as what it actually is, but how it could appear. That's great. I'm going to be using that in something. I love watches. Not just watches, but um, the old hourglasses too. The original watch. <laughs> um, so yeah, as far as glue books like this go, I don't know that I'll be doing any for some time, but I am going to write that, write it down. Um, as I want to do a series of themed glue books, um, but I need to make sure that I'm collecting images specifically for that without without cutting myself short of um, what I'm doing, any of the projects I've got going currently, or just wait until I'm done with these and then start anew. But uh, I will, in fact, write that down. At any rate, I'm going to get off of here. Get this video edited and ready to go up next week. I need to go see what my dogs are barking at this time. There were kids running up and down the back alley. Um, as long as they don't antagonize the dogs, they're fine. And it gives the dogs a good run up and down the backyard, so that's fine too. Oh, that's so cool. That is so, so cool. Just the movement of fire is amazing. Still love him, just amazing. Love it, I love it. This is just a happy book now. It's a happy book. And I can always, if I want to go back and doodle and stuff or add more to it even, like this, there needs to be more on this. I don't have any more currently, but if I come across any, I can put a bit here. I 
just is beautiful. That just makes me happy. Happy. Yeah. Okay, so that is my 28 things I love for February 2018. And I will see you guys in the next video. Um, after I get my table cleaned off at least. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you guys. I love you. Bye.